Hey guys, so today's video is once again about Jeffree Star. Yes, I have now become a personal Jeffree Star news channel. But you know what? It's fine because he's clearly going through a bit of a moment. You know, everyone's got slip ups in their life and once one bad thing happens, just the rest follows. But I wish him all the best for the future. Clearly, right now is not the best time um, for him. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about people's reactions, his reactions, what happened, how it happened, and other theories and evidence that has come out recently. But before we get into the video, it is sponsored by Skillshare. Once again, thank you so much, Skillshare. Skillshare is basically a platform where you can learn how to do new things and anything you could possibly dream of is probably on there. There's more than 25,000 different classes. Sometimes I'll wake up and think, today I want to learn how to draw. And I'll go on there, I'll type in drawing. A lot of classes will pop up. I pick the one that seems like the right one for me. And I'll just watch a few lessons and you can do video editing, photo editing, business lessons. And if you guys use the link in in the description down below you can have two months of a free trial to see how you feel about Skillshare. A yearly subscription is only $10 a month. Yes you heard me right. $10 a month with a two month free trial from me and Skillshare to you guys. The link is for the first 500 people that sign up so get there quickly okay? Just do it. Sometimes when I make these videos, I don't make it clear what my standpoint is. I am a drama slash commentary channel, which means that regardless of my personal opinion on the YouTuber, I have to stay unbiased and be semi-objective unless I clearly state this is my opinion and you don't have to agree with it. Other than that, I just have to present the news and the facts the way they are because they're facts. You can't just like put your own f***ing twist on the facts because then it becomes your opinion. It's kind of obvious. But what I've realised is when I say that my opinions are objective, what people think that means is that I'm gonna agree with them. Just because you don't agree with someone's opinion doesn't make it any less objective. An objective opinion is simply an unbiased opinion. It's an opinion that isn't skewed by any personal opinions about a person. It's not simply just... I don't agree with that opinion, therefore it is not objective. So let's learn to um, understand opinions and understand how they work and understand that just because you don't agree with an opinion doesn't make it any less valid. So <laughs> let's get into it. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that good stuff, like, comment. My social media will be in the description down below and let's now actually get into the video because it's been a bit of a long intro. What happened initially was I was just on Twitter the way I am, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hi, hello. And I saw a sudden rise in a certain search term on Twitter. So if you type in Jeffree Star, all the most popular such as will pop up and at the time it was Jeffree Star concealer now I was thinking right he did say he was going to release a concealer but he just released his blue collection why would he not release the concealer with the blue collection if he was releasing the concealer now it all just didn't make sense to me so I click on it turns out Jeffree Star hasn't released his concealer but all of a sudden we all know what it looks like and everyone's just a bit confused because a woman basically on Facebook was selling a certain shade of his concealer. Now everyone, including me, assumed that the concealer was fake. You know how people will just take Jeffree Star's name, slap it on a product that he's never released and sell it as a Jeffree Star product so that any parents, family members and people that don't actually know of Jeffree Star's products will go on eBay and just type in Jeffree Star and just pick a product for their kid or niece, nephew, whatever it is and they have no clue what they're buying. They, ju they just see Jeffree Star and they're like, right, sound sounds good. Turns out the concealer was real, just unreleased. And now you're thinking, how does that happen? How do you just obtain an unreleased concealer if you're not in any way affiliated with Jeffree Star? That, my friends, is called theft. Yes, you heard me right. If you've seen his Shane Dawson documentary, he had a warehouse where he keeps all of his products the way most companies do. Recently, though, uh, from his video, we found out that he has now expanded the amount of warehouses he has to accommodate for more products. And turns out that one of them was still in the process of being secured more properly, so it wasn't up to par yet with the security systems. So someone that worked there in that warehouse must have let people know that there wasn't good security there. And they basically went on a mission, drove there in a truck, came down from the ceiling, like in the movies, like in the spy movies, you know, on the ropes when they're coming down, it's dun 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 dun, dun. Concealer. And then they 
put it into the truck and left. Approximately $2.5 million worth of products were stolen. So as much as I can make this into a joke and make it sound a little more comedic and make it sound a little bit more lighthearted, let's still remember throughout this video that $2.5 million worth of products were stolen. If you're a Jeffree Star fan, don't worry, don't stress. He has insurance, he's gonna get most of that money back. It's just the principle. If the thieves had stolen products that were already released, like a lipstick or um, a highlighter or something that wasn't an unreleased product, the damage wouldn't have been so great. Because as I said, the insurance company covers all the costs. The products were already out there to begin with. Uh, you catch the people, you punish them accordingly, and the situation is done. The problem with this situation was that it was an unreleased product. And if you have an unreleased product and someone releases it before you're ready with your marketing, your advertising, that can be detrimental for your sales. People see the product beforehand, they've already got an opinion on it before you can present it in a favorable way. Sometimes when you see um leaked versions of a product, they never look as good as like, the advertisement, because there's a marketing team behind that and they know how to spice things up. People looked at trademarks that were recently made and Magic Star, the name of the concealer was a trademarked name. The packaging of the concealer was also trademarked. Clearly, that was the real product, that was the real deal. This came out on April Fool's Day, which was a horrible time for something like this to happen because no one's gonna believe you. But Jeffree Star said, since it's April Fool's today, I won't be talking about anything serious, but tomorrow I need to share some really f***ed up news with you all. It's not about family, thank god. Sorry for being so quiet lately, but something insane and violating has happened to my brand recently. He then follows that up with, I know that's really vague, but the last few weeks have been so difficult and also so amazing with the massive success of blue blood my life is a crazy roller coaster and i'm holding on for the ride i'll share everything with you all tomorrow so grateful of you all and then a broken heart with the lipstick now people are already hearing about the scandal obviously while he was writing these very vague tweets people are already discussing what was happening so it wasn't that much of a secret people were just waiting for his statement and people thought that the two emojis on the tweet the broken heart and the lipstick was insinuating who took part in the robbery jeffree star has, has his own personal makeup artist who is also his close friend called lipstick nick and she has been very close to jeffree she's been affiliated with jeffree for a long time and people thought that because there was a lipstick and a broken heart it meant that she was the one that did that which he then confirmed wasn't true. Someone said, if I was employed by Jeffree Star, I'd be his most loyal employee. Like, Jesus, I don't get how some people would ruin that opportunity to work for someone like him. And Jeffree Star quote tweeted it and said, my employees aren't involved in this. The real story will be up tomorrow. So much false info being said online right now and assumptions. Um, Jeffree Star said, I never knew I'd be spending my Monday night with the FBI tracking down black market makeup sellers. Jeffree Star then says, I'm the wrong bitch to fuck with and follows that up with, there's a lot of tweets. I don't even know where to begin right now. The last few weeks have been so mentally exhausting, but I'm so grateful for all the law enforcement and FBI agents who have been working on my concealer heist. A major player who has been selling my stolen product has been arrested. Yikes. <laughs> we are slowly unraveling all the evidence and finding all the people who are in possession of my product and who their sources are. The makeup black market is so twisted and has several layers. I can't believe something I worked so hard on is floating around all over the world. There were many people tweeting out about people they found online selling clearly just boxes full of makeup, which looks like the boxes taken from the storage because it wasn't just the concealer stolen, it was a lot of things stolen along with one shade of the concealer, which probably they didn't even know they were taking because I'm assuming all the boxes were closed. I'm assuming they were just taking what they could grab and somehow hit a jackpot with an unreleased product. It's a bit dodgy buying a whole box of a certain shade of something, like it's a box of the same product lined up perfectly. I'm assuming it's stolen. So Yahoo Lifestyle tweeted out saying, someone is selling Jeffree Star unreleased concealers on the black market and now the FBI is getting involved. And a girl quote tweeted that and said, there are thousands of children that are missing and y'all got the FBI on some makeup. Then she says, I assure you sister Jeffree is probably fine and does not need you trolling in his honor following that up with a picture of his net worth saying $50 million. First of all, I just wanna say, don't downplay someone's problems just because they're rich. $2.5 million worth of products, half of them unreleased, is a loss regardless. And the FBI is gonna get involved because that's their 
in job their job is situations like this where things get sold on the black market that is literally their job description the fbi aren't just responsible for missing cases and looking for missing people because i don't know if you know right the fbi has different departments and those departments deal with different things so the people dealing with missing cases of people do not deal with stolen makeup so one doesn't take away from the work of the other so you can actually look for stolen makeup while looking for missing children and get both of those jobs done at the same time and then a girl replies and says it's not even like he's the only one who got robbed in the makeup business it's millions of dollars and it's bigger than just him but you can go off and act like there's two fbi agents that can't do more than two things at once and regarding that <laughs> ladies and gents this seems like a bit of a ring a little bit of a makeup thieving club because two years ago, March 2017, Anastasia Beverly Hills was robbed off of her modern renaissance palette. Around 100,000 palettes were stolen, $42 each, which means around $4.5 million worth of Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes were stolen. This seems like a bit of a connection. Overall, what this shows is that people can't stay objective, right? $2.5 million worth of makeup was stolen. Whatever your opinion about Jeffree Star is, you don't have to feel sorry for him, but you have to acknowledge the fact that there's a problem. Two, the FBI does not just work on one thing at a time and different departments deal with different things. This isn't taken away from missing children's cases. Stay educated, stay woke. Three, if you don't care, then don't care. I don't, I don't see why people are always like, I'm gonna express my opinion and follow that up with, I don't care. You expressing your opinion contradicts you saying, I don't care. Cause once you express your opinion, it shows some kind of an interest in the topic. I'm sorry to break it to you, sis. So many people try and act fake woke. I'm sick of it. Makeup was stolen. Unreleased products were stolen. A business, sis, sis, main priority is making a profit. Wh whether you agree with that or not, the main point of a business is to make money. Anything that makes a loss to a business isn't something that they want, you know? A business doesn't isn't just gonna be like, well, $2.5 million worth of makeup. Do I want it back? So clearly he's gonna be upset about it and you can pop off if you want, but at the end of the day, that's his business. That's his brand, that's his baby. He cares about it, has the right to express his opinion about it and talk about it. If you don't care, then shut the f up. I don't know what to tell you because you're just wasting your energy. Now, I don't know if you guys remember if you've been here for that long, I made a video about Jeffree Star and how he called out another person. I'm gonna put the link to that video in the description down below if you don't know what I'm talking about. But basically to summarize it real quick, a girl tweeted at Jeffree Star and said that she's about to start working at Ulta right around the time when he was releasing his collection in Ulta. And he said, congrats, babe, I'm really proud of you. Something along those lines, I'm paraphrasing right now. And then there was a guy that does make up that basically self-promoted under that tweet. But he also self-promoted under every other Jeffree Star tweet. I hate those people. I hate those people. Jeffree Star called him out, said, you know, you don't have to hold yourself out. And now with the whole thieving situation, that same person who was allegedly a huge fan of Jeffree Star, bought a lot of his products, was very upset that Jeffree Star called him out, now switched it up and wanted to chat about Jeffree Star. So I called him the out. He says, people throw out here being depressed over a multi-millionaire who makes it known how much money he has, losing pennies in compared to his net worth, in comparison to his net worth. Not to mention apparently he had insurance on the product so he's literally losing zero dollars. And I said, isn't this the same kid who self-promoted under all of Jeffrey's tweets and then got called the fuck out for it? This didn't happen that long ago. You getting called the fuck out by Jeffree Star didn't happen that long ago. He was a millionaire then and he's a millionaire now. Clearly, you didn't have a problem with him being a millionaire then, so I'm not sure why you have a problem with him being a millionaire now, but him losing unreleased products is a fucking issue, right? It's an issue that people are stealing. Like, regardless of who the f Jeffree Star is, the unreleased Magic Star fucking concealer, people stole $2.5 million worth of product. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, anything you want to comment down below, and subscribe to Zappa's videos every Fridays. And turn on notifications, and you'll know when that's happening, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.